Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Ayobami Bakari. Yeah, Ayobami. Okay, so um, in this particular video, if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome again, welcome. Um, I'm going to just be explaining what fall semester, spring semester, and summer semester is, and how all of those things, those terminologies, the timelines, how all of those things actually affect your application. So many schools, a lot of schools, that um, if you want to apply for fall semester, fall semester starts in some schools August, in some schools September, but most likely middle of August or ending of August, fall semester started and it ends December, then you go to the next semester in January, which ends in May or June. Then you have summer semester that starts from either May to August or June to August or July. So I've explained that. So now if you want to apply for fall semester, some schools will tell you that you have to apply for the fall semester the year before. So if you want to apply for fall semester 2022 in a school like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Princeton, you have to have applied by November 15 last year. You have to have submitted your application by that deadline. So some schools will tell you if you want to apply for fall 2022, apply a year before because they believe that most people that are applying are in their last year of um, high school, which might not be the case for you. That doesn't um, deter you or anything. So because that is the belief, so they believe that once you're in your final year of high school, that, which is like your first term of um year 12 in Nigeria, and that means you should be preparing to apply to a lot of schools. So this is also for high school students that are wondering if they can start applying. Yes, you should have actually applied. So that by the time you graduate in July, you're coming in in August to start university, which I would advise is a very, very good option. So now a lot of schools accept international students only for fall semester, only, only. But there are some exceptional schools that um, they still accept students for spring semester, like the schools, if you watch my last video on rolling admissions, so that middle schools accept students all year round. But you also have to make sure that even though they accept students all year round, it also applies to international students. And the fact that a school accepts you all year round, the fact that a school would accept you in spring semester is a good thing, but it's also something that you need to think about like when you go to the embassy or when you're preparing, like how is that feasible for you? Because because you know that if a school accepts you in spring semester, that you're coming to start in January, so that means you should have had your visa before January. And you also know that most people would like to travel during the festive period. So the surge for visa appointment dates might be high. And physically using your sense to look at it, you might not be able to get a visa date that will make sense for you, especially since you're going to resume in January. And most of them start school like January 18th. So it's not, so sometimes, I'm not even sure if the embassy closes down, but you have to factor all of these things into down to apply for fall semester or spring semester. Now, some schools also would accept you for summer semester. That summer semester part, is like, I understand why would, you would want to apply for summer semester if you're applying late. But if you have enough time, I don't see why you should apply for summer semester because generally the school starts in fall semester. So if you start fall semester, your second semester is spring semester. That means you start from August, you finish the school year in May. So that means August to May, you're done with 100 level, you're done with one academic year. If you start in spring semester, you start January, spring semester ends May. If you are not going to take summer classes, then that means you have to wait till August to go to the second semester. Then you finish one year in December. So people that started in fall will be a semester ahead of you, but you are all in the same class. So I know that that might be um like a source of worry for some of you. Like if you come in, your classmates might be ahead of you. No, they put they put you in where you are starting at. So you have a lot of people in your class, if not all of them that are also starting at that particular time or semester as you. So don't think that you're going to miss anything except you resume after the stipulated date for your semester that you are resuming. But now if you start summer semester, that means you start school in maybe May or June or, or even April for some schools, 
you finish in December. I feel like that one makes more sense, but it's also not making any sense because that means for spring semester, you most likely will. So that means from January to May, you most likely will be on holiday, except you want to pay and or you want to continue, then that means you would, um, like, that means you'll not have any break. you just keep on moving from September, from summer to fall to spring, summer to fall to spring. And you would actually finish school earlier than others. So here, school, you can finish school at any time you want. But only, the only thing is make sure to know whether you want to apply for fall semester, spring semester, or summer semester. Me, I would advise that you apply for fall semester because that's the time that most schools are comfortable with um, admitting international students because that's the time that most schools also have um, opportunities available for you to do um, orientation, which I would definitely say that you need to do orientation, guys. Don't overlook it that uh, if I resume August, um, July or I resume January, some schools do not have orientation for students resuming that period for international students. And orientation is very important because in orientation, I know that they will talk about like how to get your bank account, how to um, navigate some things in the school, how to do your taxes, because you would do taxes as an international student. All of this information, like who to speak to concerning your visa, your passport, if you want to travel back home, all of these things, your school would most likely include them in your orientation modules. So you do not want to miss those things. Even if you miss them, you could always go back and ask your advisor, obviously they were assigned to an international advisor and an academic advisor. So you want to make sure that the both of them are your best friends, even not if it's one person good for you. So I would advise you to apply fall semester, especially as an international student. It gives you ample time to prepare, ample time to rest, like, it gives you ease knowing that for me it gives me ease knowing that um i'm in line with like the whole school so i don't have to worry about one event occurring like when everybody's going no that's me i'm about to start the exam all of those things factor it into consideration before you make a decision for the school you're applying to so i just i feel like these videos are coming late for some of you that have already picked the schools you want to apply to i apologize for that and thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys in my next video.